the last five years is a uh, a musical that has had my heart from the moment that I first saw it. And that goes back maybe 15, 16 years. And so it's the show that I sing when I'm alone in the car. You know, it's just such, the music is so diverse. It's, it's a musical masterpiece in my mind, it's so different from most other musical theater. This is a Jason Robert Brown musical. He, he's probably best known for 13 and Bridges of Madison County. He received a lot of accolades for the last five years. Uh, First on stage in Chicago in 2001, off-Broadway in 2002. That year he won Dramatic Desk Awards and all sorts of things for script and music and you know just everywhere, just great um, awards for that season. Um, it's never been on Broadway, except it was just announced it will be on Broadway in 2025. So the format is just two people, a couple, and the story of their meeting and falling in love and marrying and then ultimately their divorce. Um, she tells the story from the end of the relationship to the beginning, and he tells it from the beginning to the um, end. So the male lead is Aidan Lozer who has recently been on stage in Easton uh, at the high school in Legally Blonde as the male lead, and then at the Christmas show at the Avalon. He there are so many lives I need to share with you. And I know Aiden from when he was a little guy in Chesapeake um, Children's Theater. So I have a history with Aiden as well. The female lead is um, a Washington College student who I just did a production with at the Garfield, whose name is Stevie Lyles. I want to die knowing I had a love And Stevie is a force and um, has tremendous vocal ability. She's very innovative and, and bold in her own right about how she approaches all music and uh, some pretty good acting chops as well. For me, the thing that makes this particular production of the last five years so special is that we do have the full orchestra. So it is the full musical experience of this play. I've personally never seen it live with all of the instruments. For me, it's the musical experience. This is for me to embellish the stage with sets and excessive props would be a complete miss. Because when you come to the Avalon to see the show, I want you to be in a concert environment. I want the, the, the magic of, of this music and the mastery of the musicians who are playing and singing, uh, that I want you to just fall into this story and, and allow it to carry you. There are just two performances of this amazing show. That's August um, the 16th and 17th, Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. Tickets are available online on the Avalon website. And uh, we're ready to go. Yeah.